Okay, so just as I thought, I can't, I can't uh, overwrite save, so I'm just gonna have to keep saving individually, one by one. But let's see, we have a club here. We didn't have to go to that elevator. This is to the subway again. The liquor store. To Metro Circle. Well, that's where I was. So that's where I was. <laughs> There's a down the street. Let's go there. Oh, here we go. Mercury. They left out the theater bit, but maybe that's self-explanatory. Maltese Falcon, Casablanca. Oh, he's just fat guy. Really? That's his name. Just trash. Can we talk to this guy? For whatever reason. Excuse me. Yes, yeah, um. Oh, jeez. Hold on there one second, lady. Dang, Marquis. Light up! Good. Now stay that way, you hear? All right, then. Do you work at the theater? Yes, um. I'm Freddy. Freddy Mellon. My mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon. She owns the theater. Yep, I reckon she does, uh-huh. She owns it, and she be running it by her own self, like a, a real proprietor. I reckon I help out some, of course, yep. And what do you do, sir? I'm the usher. And I also takes care of sweeping and cleaning up after the show. My mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, she says she reckon I'm a regular jack of all trades. I tell you what, I think she's right about that, uh huh. Is the theater open now? No, I reckon it ain't, lady. It don't open till this evening. Ain't nobody in there either. I reckon that wouldn't be legal. Do you know a man called Cortez? No. I can't say as I does, lady. I ain't never met him. Now, I reckon I'd like to get on with my sweeping, uh-huh. But I'm supposed to meet him here. Are you sure you don't know him? Look, lady. I reckon you you should just mind your own bee's knees and get. I told you, I ain't seen Cortez today. You said you didn't know Cortez. I I reckon I don't know nobody by that name. So so I tell you what, I'd mighty appreciate it if if you'd stop bothering me, and let me get on with my work. Jesus, Mary, and baby Joseph. I reckon the whole dang world is f wants to find Cortez today. Thanks, anyway. Yes, yeah, um. I'll tell you what. You go on now and let Freddie Mellon do his sweeping before his mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, get all P.I.S.T. off. You almost got it right, at least. Except for the tea part. Conspicuous. Lady, don't you keep playing with that thing now, you hear? Leave it be. Why is there a hole in the ground? Ooze? Green ooze. Do we have to collect any of this green ooze? There's a hole in that glove, I don't think I can collect it. Conspicuous guy. That guy's so conspicuous, he's gotta be a cop on a stakeout assignment. I'm doing a very good job then. That is true. Hi there. Having fun? Didn't your mother teach you not to talk to strangers? Yes, yeah, she did. <laughs> then what are you doing here? Get lost. 
Why are you dressed like a cop? What do you mean, why am I dressed like a... Hey, wait a second, what's it to you? Just trying to do my bit for the boys in blue, sir. You look like a cop, so if you're on a stakeout or something, you should try to blend in a little more. Go native! Yeah, how? I don't know, but that trench coat, it sort of gives it away. Perhaps a pair of blue jeans and one of those I'm with stupid t-shirts might help. Hold on, let me get this down right. Hey, wait a second, what am I doing? Who the hell do you think you are? The NPD fashion consultant? Is that supposed to be funny, ma'am? Are you a comedian or something? Because I'm not laughing. I'm not even smiling, am I? Now get your ass out of here and don't bother me again. Is that a threat? Damn right it's a threat. I got a feeling I'm gonna need you away from that fuse box. It's a fuse box. Didn't touch it. There's something wrong with the power in that box, and it looks like the theater marquee's connected to the same switch. It keeps flickering on and off. Are we fixing it? Goodness. That door leads back into what looks like an alleyway behind the theater. I don't imagine we can go in, but let's just see what happens. It's locked. Hmm. All right. What are the chances that we can open just open this fuse box with uh, this non-police detective? A a hey, a April, just just go around. Come here. All right. We good? Hey, keep your hands to yourself. That city property, ma'am. So, what are you watching for, detective? Hello again. Christ, don't you ever quit. What is it now? Are you on the job? On the job? What do you mean, on the job? You know, an assignment, stakeout, undercover operation. I suggest you get the hell out of here now, ma'am, before things get ugly. Was that a threat? Are you threatening me? Yes, I am. Hmm. I'm just curious, can we just pick up this... <laughs> pick up this ooze? The box office is closed. So let's see. Oh, okay. Then we can't go through the entrance. And notice. Let's read what that notice says. Women in dire need of medical attention. I thought that was a porno. But I guess it's just an artsy foreign flick. As long as they speak French, it, it can't be smut. <laughs> Bergman Festival at the Mercury Theater. Opens August 1st, 2209. That's on Tuesday. Sounds interesting. Maybe I'll go. Okay, so do we have to piss you off till you actually just leave? Hello again. Christ, don't you ever quit. What is it now? Don't you get tired of hanging around here all day long? No, ma'am. So you're completely fine. There's nothing you'd want. That's right. Nothing at all? Nothing at all. Not even a bite to eat? Just had a full lunch, ma'am. Thanks for asking. So you just had lunch? That's right. At Cool Cow. What did you have? A triple whammy cow patty with a side order of grease onions and a large bingo cola. No ice. What about fries? And a double order of cheese and fried taters, yeah. Tastiest damn fries you're ever likely to find. Soaking in melted goat cheese. And you had this... when? Well, about an hour ago. And you don't feel, um, the urge... to go? No, ma'am, no. My bowels are genetically enhanced and require only perfunctory attention. The burger filled you up good? You don't have the munchies? 
Well, now you mention it, I have a craving for sweets. I didn't have time for my usual cool cow strawberry pie with whipped cream chocolate sauce and a scoop of ice cream. Wait a second. What am I telling you all this for? Who the hell are you anyway? Hey, get out of here, ma'am. Right this minute or else... Is this a threat? I think that was a threat. A very serious one, ma'am. Hmm. I wouldn't happen to have a cool cow. Blah, 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 blah. Are we actually touching these? <laughs> smells like kerosene. Kerosene? Hello? Matches. Because clearly that's the first response that anyone should ever have. No, don't stand on it. Use it. No, come on. She won't use it. So disappointed. Hmm. What is this? Found a gold ring under the common room sofa. If it's yours, let me know. But no false claims, please. Fiona. I did lose a gold ring a few weeks ago. I hope this is the one. I'll have to ask Fiona about it. Oh, what? Green ooze. Big surprise. I'm still here. So, she says it smells like kerosene, but... It's not like we can actually... It's a matchbook from the Fringe Cafe. It's not like we can actually do anything with it. Because I step on the ooze, she just steps on it. I don't imagine just going to click it open, we'll click it open. It's locked. Is there more to talk to with this guy? Yo, Melon. Freddy Melon. Or Malone. Is it Melon or Malone? I'm pretty sure it's Melon. Hi. What can I do for you, Mia? Thanks, anyway. <laughs> yes, yeah, some. I'll tell you what. Uh, do I have to listen to You this? go on now. And let okay. Freddie Melon do his sweeping mm -hmm. before his mama, Mrs. Doddy Melon, get all P-I-S-T off. Okay. So, something about the Cool Cow Cafe, maybe I can bribe our officer here to... to eat. Liquor store. It's a liquor store. I think he's selling something. Counterfeit. Triple strength raptures, probably. Highly addictive and guaranteed to blow your mind. Literally. Popular place. Not my crowd, though. Okay. Um. It's really. Is that literally it? Can't go anything down there. Okay, well, in the meantime, I guess we since we know we can go ask Fiona about the ring. We might as well just ask Fiona about the ring. Oh, there you go. So that makes it a lot easier for us. Head straight to the radio tower building instead. There you go, to the bridge. Don't imagine just talking to Fiona might get us at the ring back. If that is the Hi. case. Yes. Mm. 
What's Metro Circle like? That's the sleaziest and most perverted neighborhood in Newport. On the negative side, however, it's also a dangerous place to hang out. I wouldn't go there alone if I were you. <laughs> Interesting. I have to get going. Take care of yourself out there, darling. Okay, let's grab this. I saw this note on the corkboard. I think the ring might belong to me. I'm sorry I have to ask, but could you describe the ring? Sure thing. It says Sweet Sixteen. My dad gave it to me. I think it was the only birthday of mine he remembered, or at least acknowledged. Yes, that's the one. I found it under the sofa when I was vacuuming. Here you are, darling. Thanks. It's not worth much, but it's got a certain sentimental value for me. It's a very pretty ring. Yeah. Yeah, it is. My dad never gave me anything pretty before or since. He must have won a poker game or something that day. You know what's strange? I don't hate him. He's a bastard and he treated me like crap almost every single day of my life. But I don't hate him. I feel sorry for him. Why? Because he doesn't know how to love. He can't love anybody or anything. And because he'll be miserable every second of every minute of every day until the day he dies. God, I'm glad that life is behind me. I hope I never have to see him again. No, that doesn't sound right. I've made a choice not to see him again. Ever. Hmm. Uh, let's check out the, out the notice board to see if anything got added, just in case. Be considerate. Common Room Duty Roster, July 27th, San Francisco. Pizza and movie night, Monday, July 31st. B-Y-O-S. B-Y-O what? I'm sorry, but big sweaty jocks do not turn annual summer blowout. Okay, there's nothing here. Um, let's just take a look at this ring. Dad gave me this gold ring on my 16th birthday. Hmm, how many carrots? Anyway. Cortez, everyone says that. He's at the theater, but the theater doesn't open. Let's maybe head to the cafe, see if anyone's got anything to say over there. And... Hmm. So, I mean, I don't know, are, are we trying to sneak into the theater? If to say that Cortez is there at the moment. Doesn't make sense really, but... Doorway. Cafe. Let's go through the doorway. What is this? Is that... Death Star? I'm glad you're here. I need somebody to talk to. Yeah, me too. What's going on? You go first. You haven't heard anything about what happened here last night? Not a word. Now you definitely got my attention. What happened? Around 11 last night, I was working the bar and, well, I couldn't see how it started, but the music suddenly changed and the place went dead quiet. I walked over to the far end of the bar. Something, it, it wasn't human, definitely not like any human I've ever seen just appeared out of the thin air where the jukebox is, playing an instrument. At first, it didn't seem to notice anyone. Everyone stood there watching it, dead silent. Then it looked up, and then it just disappeared. Everyone was staring at the jukebox, and then at each other. And then things just went back to normal. It was as if they all chose to block it out. It was scary, girl. I couldn't get the image of that creature out of my mind and the look on its face. It was real, that's for sure. As real as you and me, but different. Now I want to hear your story, April. What happened? This is gonna be hard to believe, but it's true, I swear to you. Of course I'll believe you, girl. Last night, I came home. 
and Mickey and Fiona were watching the screen, so I joined them. We watched a documentary about the rainforest, and... and... What happened? The room turned into a jungle. Are you serious? No, I'm lying to you. Of course I'm sure. I was there. Fiona was there. Mickey. We all saw the same thing. A jungle. But only for a split second. Then it was gone. Just like that. And it wasn't like a hologram. It was more real than that. It smelled right. The air was thick and humid and... And it didn't feel synthetic like those shows they have. It felt real. The worst part was, it looked familiar. Like something from a... a dream. I recognized the place and I recognized the emotions I had being there. From where? Like I said, from dreams and from experiences I've had these past few days. Strange stuff, scary stuff, but I'd rather not talk about those experiences now. I understand. Wow. Heavy. It's amazing how similar our stories are. And it scares me because... Have you considered the possibility you've been drugged, Charlie? Or subjected to some holographic experiment? You prefer that to the alternatives? That we're going crazy? Or that there's actually something... Something going on. Something we can't understand. You think those alternatives are better? I can't tell you, April. All I know is the experience was as real to me as yours was to you. I got a feeling that if people are ignoring it, <laughs> this might happen. Things are slowly or happen stepping up like Fiona had described. Mind if I ask you a few questions, Charlie? Why would I mind, girl? Could I ask you a few more questions about yourself? Yeah, sure. If you're interested. I know I'm a little... That's all I wanted to know, Charlie. Oh, never okay. mind. I'm aware I'm a, bit, Thanks, a little Charlie. bit over time, but just want to finish off this conversation. We're going to head on in in the next set. So, thank you for liking if you like. Thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribe. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. And thank you for simply clicking on this video. And until next time, guys. See ya!